Very, very similar to digital real estate, meaning that you are building with SEO, you're building content, you're building assets online that aren't going to go away just because you stop doing SEO. Hey, how's it going everybody? Adam McChesney here. And today I want to talk about a question that I get asked about quite often, which is, hey, Adam, if I pay for SEO for six, 12, 18 months, five years, whatever, and I stop paying for SEO, what actually happens? And the easiest explanation, or the easiest example that I can give you is that SEO is like going to the gym. So if you go to the gym for six months, 12 months, five years, whatever that number is in terms of the duration of time, and then you stop going to the gym, it's not like it's all gonna crumble to the ground immediately. But if you stop going to the gym for a long period of time, no different than you stop doing SEO for a long period of time, it will eventually deteriorate over the course of a couple of months. So it also depends on a variety of other things on how long you've been doing SEO and the quality of the SEO that was being done, the competition in your industry and in your local market to be able to give you a more dialed in answer of what actually is going to happen. But just because you stop SEO does not mean there's gonna be an immediate drop off with phone calls or with leads or anything like that, unless, for example, you were on the very bottom of the first page of Google and then you stopped and then the next month you dropped off. We have seen that happen before. Or if you decide to go work with another marketing company and they redesign your website and then completely screw up the technical uh, foundation of that website and then you lose all of your rankings or all of the pages that are on your website. Like we've seen some crazy, crazy things happen. And we've seen people come to us after working with other marketing companies and been like, hey, can you fix this? We see this going on. But typically what you're gonna see is more of a gradual drop off. No different than if there's you know, another guy that you're going to the gym with, and let's just say that he continues going to the gym after you stop going to the gym, you'll see him gradually, gradually get better, quicker, faster, stronger, whatever it is that they're trying to do in the gym. And so it's, not an immediate situation where if you pay for SEO for all of these uh, you know, months or years that you're gonna see a drop off. And it is very, very similar to digital real estate, meaning that you are building with SEO, you're building content, you're building assets online that aren't going to go away just because you stopped doing SEO. But if you don't water those digital assets, if you don't continue to build upon your website, at some point you will see a drop off that will take months typically to get back to where you were at previously. Now, the difference between SEO and paid advertising is if you pay for paid advertising for let's say a couple of months or a couple of years, <clears throat> Ideally, you obviously own that ad account, but once you stop paying those platforms, you will see literally from 100 to zero immediately because it's all relied upon paid advertising. That's why we tell people to diversify your digital marketing and don't just have all of your assets in a paid advertising bucket because that one specifically is something that will go down very, very quickly. So the to get back to the question is when you stop paying for SEO, what actually happens is it is a very, very slow and meticulous drop off to get you back down to where you were at before you started SEO. Now, you'll be better served than when you started SEO the first time because typically SEO usually either wasn't done or maybe it wasn't done the correct way. So you're gonna be better than when you originally started, but you will start to go back to some of those um, beginning days before SEO got started if it was your first time. So it's not a complete waste. You know, everybody says, hey, if I invest this money, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Well, you could invest the money and the worst thing that's gonna happen is that money goes away, but you at least have built up a digital foundation for your website and online presence and Google business listing, et cetera. But ideally, you're gonna come out ahead and be in a better position than when 
when you started, but it will drop off no differently than going to the gym, right? So if you're going and, and competing with people in the gym, you're obviously competing with yourself, all of those different things. When you stop going to the gym and they continue to go to the gym, even the people that have been going to the gym for less amount of time that are lifting lower weights, that are doing all of these things differently than you, if they continue on the path moving forward, then and you stop doing it no different than seo you will get passed up and in these very very competitive markets in a very very competitive digital landscape this is real so i hope i answered the question if i stop paying for seo what happens feel free to ask any questions leave your comments thoughts feedback things like that in the comments and you can always head over to adammcchesney.com and find out more about what it is that I do. Thank you very much for watching today's video and we'll see you next time.